Good morning. I'm very happy here to uh, talk to you about a company called Roberte. Roberte is actually a company specialized in uh, fragrances and flavors and natural ingredients, world leader of natural ingredients. And this company operates as a family business since 1850. So as you can imagine, we were not probably the first candidates you would imagine around AI. But we are uh, quite happy that because we are curious people, we uh, were uh, also uh, curious to see what AI could bring to our world of creation. And this is the, really the angle of how can you marry creation and AI. So Roberte has been around this business for 175 years. So the first thing I want to do now is really wish a happy anniversary to Artefact. They are uh, celebrating today their 10th anniversary, and I hope they will have 160 more anniversaries uh, in order to uh, help us on the long term in AI. So creating fragrances and flavors is a very special business, a special uh, craftsmanship made of emotions, made of sensitivity, and made of human touch. So obviously the first reaction that you can have is what can AI do for us in this extremely human-based activity? Because each human is different, each of our creators is different. They have a personal history, they have a personal sensitivity, they have a personal culture, and this is something you cannot change, you cannot modelize, you cannot harmonize. What you can only do, maybe, is help. So we chose Artefact on this journey because we found we had, although not at all the same age, not at all the same culture, we had a lot of commonalities and common points. The first is this uh, balance and this love between knowledge and know-how. Maybe when it comes to AI, Artefact has the knowledge. When it comes to fragrances and flavors, maybe we have the know-how. Artefact was also curious to see how art and data could be uh, reassembled. Also, we are probably a, a very good illustration of tradition, and they are a very good illustration of startup. And what we have in common is this quest for passion and for efficiency. The passion that animates Roberte for 175 years, the efficiency that maybe AI could bring to our creators. So we created a, a working group based on the, on the very simple principle of uh, test and learn. As you can see on this picture, it was on our side at Roberte, a combination of marketing, of creation, and IT. All those three domains worked uh, in a very high intimacy. And on the other hand, we had obviously a group of experts of AI on the side of Artefact. You can see of this group a pretty, a pretty uh, interesting diversity in terms of age, in terms of competencies, in terms of uh, passion, in terms of point of view. And putting those people in the same room three or four times a week, sometimes a virtual room, uh, really was the recipe of success behind the project. So what we wanted is not to use AI on what basically everybody does, which was really to look at efficiency uh, in logistics, in industry, or so on. We wanted really to tackle AI for what really makes the originality of our company, which is formulation. You need to know that a perfumer, a flavorist, has at his or her disposal roughly 10,000 different ingredients. When it comes to the formula, they put together between 10 and 15 ingredients, each of them at a certain percentage, each of them interacting with each other, each of them interacting with the base. You don't flavor a yogurt as you flavor a soda. You don't perfume a body shower gel uh, the same way you perfume a candle. So all those gestures interact and creates a lot of complexity of how to find the right formulation. And we really address that and, and really 
capte, capte the, the originality of, of uh, artifact and of our passion for the business, our passion for the know-how, in order to, do, to, to, to ask ourselves what can AI do when it comes to formulation of, of a fragrance and a flavor, which is something that each one of you in this room touches, smells, or tastes roughly 40 times a day. So let me take you to the, to the journey that we had for the past uh, probably almost two years internally on how to make AI part of the journey of our creators. It's not something we do on behalf of them. It's not something we do despite them. It's something we do with them. At each and every stage, AI is at the service of the creators, not the opposite. So I hope you enjoyed this moment of poetry. Let's go back to the, let's go back to the, 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 the business side and what advantage we, we had uh, from AI. Again, we are still in test and learn mode, but we have more and more creators working with it. The first thing we saw as a benefit is that the creator said it enhances creativity. How does this enhance creativity? It proposes a few propositions to the creator, having put in the system a lot of data, a lot of data regarding the market, a lot of data regarding the consumer profile, a lot of data regarding the, the product type and the base that we spoke uh, earlier about. And doing all of that and knowing what the client wants at the end, we're working for clients who have certain requests, we put all of that market data, uh, creation data, requests from the client data, and we put that at the service of the perfumer that suddenly has an AI assistant that gives him three, four, five propositions where to start from his new creation or her new creation. The second fact is sometimes we have international creators working together. And as you can imagine, because each creator is different, the way they interpret uh, a brief can be totally different from Europe, US, or China, to name a few. How does, can you create a common language for people that will see lavender in a certain way in Europe, a different way in the US, and a totally different way in, in China. Still, they work for a global client, they have to come with one solution with three different sensitivity. And AI will help, the, help them translate those wishes from the client into uh, a language that they can all work on uh, commonly. And the last point is uh, AI works as a fantastic heritage data bank because to give you an idea, a creator creates roughly 1,000 formulas each year. We have 70 creators, flavorists and uh, perfumers in our group. So it's, uh, it's uh, 300 uh, times 1,000 formulas times 70 people. And obviously, when a new brief comes in, they have forgotten what they created five, th five years ago. AI doesn't forget it and will bring it back to them, back from their memory. And this is one of the biggest surprises they had is say AI is a fantastic assistant because it knows better than I what would be the relevant formula I invented a few years ago for this particular client and this particular moment. 
So how does it work? You have a request with different keywords, images, videos, whatever the client wants to bring us, plus all the data we know. We match this data with the profile of creation of the, of the, of the creator. As you can see on this uh, cloud of uh, points, this is how the creator has organized its uh, data bank of creation. And then it will bring him or her different proposition. In this case, five propositions. Three are already rated as green by the AI tool. Two are orange, so machine is not totally sure. And as we go, the machine will learn from this process to give the creator more and more relevant solutions and more and more relevant suggestions to it. Let's take an example. We have a, a, a brief from a Chinese client. They want a new eau de toilette. They have a creative brief. They have um, some market data. They have a certain consumer profile. They connect this data with the, uh, the, with the profile of the creator, and the creator will immediately visualize those three small orange points on the, on the graph are those that the machine tells the creator, from what I know, this is the closest perfume you have already made that goes to your, uh, to your client. And then the, the, the creator is free to say, totally relevant. I want to do something else, or you didn't see that, or I will change the parameters, and we'll start to play with the tool so that it becomes, with time, more and more relevant and a better and better assistant. So basically, AI and the project we have internally called Natura, Naturia increases quicker time to market, better relevance to the market, and open up the boundaries of creation to the creator. So at Roberte, we have this claim, which is Future in Naturals, where basically AI is submitted to EI, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence through the head of the creator remains the master, but AI is a fantastic assistant to the master. Thank you for your attention.